you guys requested a reading blog for the book that I'm reading right now, which is the inheritance games and i've been loving this book so i decided to just do it just go ahead and do it i am right now on page 122 so i'm still kind of like in the beginning i'm not even halfway through the book and i've been loving it this is a mind game mind brain game type of book i don't know how to say that but this book has been incredible so this girl her name is Avery? <gasps> Why do I not remember her name? Why do I not remember her name? I think her name is Avery. This girl, she lost her dad and her mom. Wait, I need the name. I need the name. Avery, yes. So this girl, she lost her mom and her dad and she has a half sister. She is kind of poor with her half sister. She lives with her. Her name is Levy, the half sister. And basically the principal of her school call her one day. When she gets to the office, her half sister is also there and she's like, what's going on? What's happening? Well, someone has been trying to contact, to make contact with her because this guy that is like a billionaire, like an old man that is a billionaire, requested for her to be at the reading of his will. She is now the owner of so many properties, so many things that he used to have, and so much money, like lots of money. And she has no idea why, because she doesn't know this guy. She has no idea who this guy is. So we're trying to figure it out why he left this money and all of this to her instead of to his two daughters and four grandsons. So that's incredible. Also, the four grandsons are like mysterious and like, I don't know if one of them is gonna be a love interest. I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen. This book has been incredible, incredible. My friend Caitlin recommended it to me. So that's why I decided to read it. She was like, I just couldn't stop reading. And you kind of like play with the book because you wanna know what's going to happen, but you're also discovering stuff yourself. And I just really wanted to continue, so. We're gonna start reading. I'm reading on my Kindle. Please support your local library because I got this book from my local library and it was free. Let's get into reading and I will keep you guys updated if something happens. So far, I do recommend. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. I didn't end up reading that much yesterday because guess who did her taxes? Me, but it took us three freaking hours to figure it out a lot of stuff and we're still kind of debating if we want to send them like this or we want to correct some stuff. The guy that did them for me or like helped me he was so nice so nice and he was so patient it was incredible but we spent a lot of time doing that also my thumb has been twitching a lot which is awful i will show you if it happens again but it's it's so weird it's so weird it's so so weird the feeling it's awful it today is international women's day so happy international women's day if you're a woman and if you're watching this even if it's later on every day should be women's day because we are badasses and we do everything and we are incredible okay you better believe that as well we are going to start reading right now but you guys know i like to do this blogs more diverse and you guys seem to like it too that I post about everything, everything, everything. Okay, honest time, I hate the lighting in here. You see that? I get very upset when I am editing my videos and I'm like, this lighting looks so bad. That lighting, this one right here, looks bad. I think if I do I want to get better at like tech stuff with like camera stuff today I have kind of like a busy day I my mom made an appointment with the doctor and of course I need to go with her later in the afternoon and then I have an appointment with my bank because I'm opening a new bank account because Chase had a bonus of like $600 you guys if you open like a checking and a savings whatever but i don't know if i feel feel the requirements i'm like did i make a mistake i don't know but it was like 1 a.m and i decided to open it also my podcast just released this morning i talk about tv shows which 
was really nice i liked it i like just talking i like talking a lot i just talk so much i love talking i love talking i love talking talking is my hobby my favorite hobby is talking about my passions about everything that makes me happy and also hearing other people and talking and hearing and talking and i just love it i love meeting people i love it so much here i am living it to this that i'm manifesting that this year okay last year i manifested that i was going to go to the jonas brothers concert for free i ended up going for both concerts for free so i do believe in something happens when you put the good energy in the world so this year i want to manifest my trip to hawaii if you have been following me you will know that i've been wanting to go to hawaii for years years and i haven't been able to but i really want to this year i need to take my baby there right 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 yeah you guys we got this cheerios yesterday and i tried them last night and i really really liked them i don't know what i'm gonna have right now i don't want cheerios but i just th thought i could show you what i got yesterday now i want something salty i'm craving something salty right now I think it's because I went to bed like very late and I had this very late at night. So I still have like the flavor of this. Just a recommendation. It's really good. I don't know if they sell it still because it says limited edition. But if you see it, buy it. Okay. I don't know what I'm making, so I'll figure it out. Guys, don't judge me. I made egg and rice i was craving something salty i'm telling you i'm telling you and i saw someone on my for you page on tiktok doing it um having egg and rice and i was like decision made people we have good bad news um good news the bank appointment was really really good it went extremely well he explained to me a bunch of his stuff and he's really nice so he also helped me opening up another card like months ago and he's really nice it was good bad news my car needs repairs and i went to the mechanic and now my car is there and it's gonna be 300 dollars day after taxes which sucks and also nobody could pick me up so i had to pay for an uber it's two o'clock i also posted a youtube video with the wrong video <laughs> what is going on what is going on i'm starving i'm gonna go make some food but i just want to update you okay okay everything is your attitude so positivity positivity hello guys i just came back from taking my dog out it's a little windy today but i wanted to update you on the book i have around 10 chapters left i just feel like it's getting a little too long like we're talking too much like just just tell me what happened okay just tell me why just tell me why right now um i do want to say i am not a huge fan of the main character the female main character i'm not a big fan of avery i don't think i like any character <laughs> which sucks because i just i feel like i continue reading just just because i want to know the plot like i want to know what happened and why the grandfather left everything to her instead of his grandsons that's all i want to know but i don't really care about the romance part um or any character the female main character is like driving me insane as well and the two boys as well i'm like mm, not really feeling like it also emily is giving me if you have read it is giving me ali from pretty little liars energy which i don't really know i can't i can't even remember if her name is ali but like the blonde one that disappear in pretty little liars that's what it's given and like all the characters on this book are insufferable but okay
okay it's around five o'clock and i just finished the book i knew it i knew it like i don't want to say i knew it but i did i did knew it i did well like i didn't actually know that this person was that person <laughs> i don't want to give spoilers but like in the beginning i was like this person has something to do with it like i know for sure like you wouldn't give me this name and this details without being someone important in the story you know what i mean i i expected it okay full review of the book i will give it right now a three out of five i liked it but i didn't love the book it was okay it kept it kept me a little engaged i really wanted to know what was gonna happen but it didn't stop me from doing other stuff in my life you know sometimes when that happens with books i love it so much i love when i can lose track of time and just keep reading and keep reading because i cannot stop and i really want to know what's gonna happen with this one it was okay it was all right i want to say so i think the rating is really good i did not enjoy the romance part and again none of the characters really touch me and that's to say a lot because there's a bunch of characters in this book and i don't know it felt a little kind of too easy for me like it didn't impact me as much as other people have said that it impacted them anyways it was a little fun read I will definitely continue with this series. Not right now, but I will uh, because I have three books from the library that I need to return. And I just, I don't know. Let me know if you have read it and if I should continue with the series. Honestly, I'm not sure if I will. So that's why I'm asking you. Anyways, let's just start a new book because, because God forbid I go a single day in my life without a book. Actually, let me turn this off. So uh, last night I show you my mom grabbed some Chick-fil-A. It was really, really good. That was like my after dinner snack. It was mac and cheese and some chicken. I also tried macarons for the first time and they were so good. I didn't expect for them to be like soft because they look like they're going to be crunchy, but they're not crunchy. Kind of weird, kind of weird because I didn't expect that. So delicious, so yum like they were absolutely amazing anyways i woke up this morning and i kept reading this book which one of you recommended and it's on my tbr of march it's secrets of a summer night by lisa klipas today the next day i dnf the book it's not a bad book that's not what i'm saying the thing is that i am not really in the mood for historical romance and this book is more of like Bridgerton vibes and I'm not feeling like it right now I feel like I'm about to get into a reading slump and I don't know why because I've been reading good books like books that I actually enjoy but maybe it's that maybe that's why because I'm looking for the same type of energy and the same type of feelings towards a book so I'm not really sure but I'm not going to continue to read this book maybe I'll pick it up in the future you never know again not saying it's bad just saying I'm not in the mood for historical romance per se so i'm gonna pick up the next one from the library which is called black cake one of you recommended again it's on my tbr i have no idea what this book is about have zero idea zero zero idea so we're gonna start right now oh my gosh um mm, i don't know i've been having my days okay i've been going through it going through it right now so i'm just gonna breathe i think that's the reason why i'm almost on a reading slump i just feel like doing nothing um that's not really good for my mental health as well but we're gonna keep pushing through living 
and doing his stuff. It feels like it's spring today, which is awesome because I was able to open my window for the first time in forever and listen to the birds and feel more, I don't know, in touch with nature, which is good. I hope this passed because I've been feeling terrible. Like even going on dating apps and stuff, I don't really want to because I feel awful with myself and I don't want to put this into the word. Let's just not put this. Let's Danny cancel. Okay guys, so I'm going to start that book and I'll keep you updated. Today's Saturday and it's around 1.30 I want to say. Let's go. guys um let me grab my book so that i can share what page i am on okay to be completely honest i've been listening to the um, audiobook whenever i have like more time and well like i've been listening to the audiobook when i do not have time to sit and read and i've been doing a stop all over the house today today's sunday and i've been cleaning around cleaning my room, just taking my dog out, cleaning the kitchen and stuff like that, helping my parents. And I am on page 161. I have been loving the book, okay? Have been loving it. There's so much, the chapters are like so short. Wait, I got cold. <laughs> the, shop, the chapters are like super short, like extremely short. And they have like different names and we go back and forth between then and now and we're trying to figure it out what happened with the mom of the two siblings and why she was so mysterious and like her life in general you know and i'm really enjoying the, those little parts i really enjoy the pacing of the book i feel like it's always keeping me engaged it's always keeping me trying to figure it out what's gonna happen which i freaking love and it's been a really good book honestly been really good i didn't end up blogging more yesterday because we went to a brazilian buffet we had so many like so much good food the people in there were so nice brazilian people are so nice always i love that i know a lot of people and i know a bunch of brazilians and i know they're always super nice and at the restaurant it was the same so I was super happy uh, and after that we finally met with the person of the Facebook marketplace that I share with you in the last video that I couldn't meet but this time around we could and I finally have my new item which I will be sharing maybe later I am making right now a snack I'm making a yogurt bowl right now uh, with Japanese potatoes so if you're here the air fryer that's the reason why I'm gonna keep reading today but I'm also enjoying my new hobby which I think I will share with you a little later and I will show you a little bit of that because I've been practicing a little bit and I'm super happy to have another hobby I feel like I need it that other hobby because reading is more of like brain hobby if you know what i mean another brain hobby will be i don't know i don't really know brain hobbies um i feel like there's categories of like hobbies and this one is just for like your brain you know but you don't do anything with your hands like manual with your hands it will be like painting like uh playing an instrument like taking pictures stuff like that that's with your hands like um uh how do you say that like crochet and stuff like that that's um with your hands in reading you just use your brain but you don't really like use your hands it's not like a manual hobby and i was really craving a manual hobby and i'm just feeling very happy this morning i found myself doing it for so many hours after breakfast and I just feel so good just feel like something else to keep my brain and my 
hands occupied you know uh so that was really really nice and that's about it for now i will keep you guys updated i will go have my yogurt bowl keep reading <music> Guys, we have bad news. We have very bad news. We just ran out of the premium Spotify thing of Audible. Okay, um, are you guys ready to see my new hobby? Are you guys ready? I don't think you're ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? What is this? It is not a guitar. Um, it came with the little protector, the cover, which I'm very happy about. And it was about 20 bucks. It's an ukulele. It's so cute. And I was learning a song this morning. I'm already like trying to like. I'm already trying, okay? I'm trying. This morning I, I download a, I was gonna go somewhere to get it afinada. I don't know how to say it in English, but in Spanish it's afinada, which is like fixing all of this so that this sounds good. I decided to download an app and the app helps you with like, making it, it sound the way it's supposed to, I guess. I don't know, but I was learning a song by Julieta Venegas, which is called, I forgot. And I learned the entire song, but the only thing is that it's so hard for me to sing at the same time as playing the guitar. The song is called Andar Conmigo. Um, and it's so hard to like play and at the same time sing. Wait, because I cannot accommodate myself for some reason. Hi guys, it's later, it's 8.15, I think so. Um, I took a nap. Um, I still have a lot from the book. That's okay, that's okay. I went to Publix as well. And we're gonna try this one. It's vegetable, so I think I wanna add some protein to this, but I don't know what. I should, I'm gonna open my fridge and see what we have, but I'm gonna add something because it has roasted bread and green peppers, tomatoes, onions, and mushrooms, but it doesn't have like anything. Ooh, it moves, see? Ah, uh, that's not great, but that's okay. We're gonna see what we can add. I think I'm either gonna add turkey or wait, I'm gonna show you. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Esta no es una de ellas. Maggie, ¿dónde estás? We're watching Damsel. Full review tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It's Monday. 
what day is today? Mon Monday, March 11th. And my brother, we're gonna have a fun day because I decided to get out of my house. It's only 9.18 right now. And I wanna go to a new coffee shop that it's a little far away from me, but I've been meaning to go there for a long time. And I really wanna see other people, you know? And also it's like the perfect opportunity because my brother, he is working on fixing our internet because it's like very slow and stuff. So um, we don't have internet right now and I need to work on my computer, edit some stuff. So we're packing my bag with my computer and we're going there. It's about a 30 minute drive. So that's fine. Uh, I think I can do this. I can do this. You guys know I have like awful fear of like driving and I hate it so much but I need to get over it so we're gonna try our best and we're gonna go okay I got ready this is the outfit um and also I'll be waiting I'm gonna be wearing my ox of course of course with this outfit but first some food because honestly I was gonna have something there but I'm starving right now like literally just woke up did everything but I'm starving I don't think I can handle 30 minutes so I'm gonna have something first and then we're going you still know what happens when the world ends. at least this is a no It's an awful house and I wanted to get you out I'm working on a plan right now to come Hello you guys, I am back home. It's around 3 o'clock. My video is uploading right now. You guys, I've been dealing a lot lately with a lot of anxiety around pretty much everything and it just it messes up with my head a lot. Um, I've been getting a lot of social anxiety when I'm around other people that I do not know. I feel like everyone is just like talking about me or it's just weird. I didn't experience this before, but I've been experiencing, experiencing that lately and I just thought about sharing and that's the reason why I didn't take out my camera there um, that much because I got a little insecure. Um, so yeah also i've been dealing a lot like very much a lot a lot a lot of anxiety while driving it's overwhelming to me because i hate driving now i hate it i hate it i hate it because i just feel like i'm gonna make or i think my brain likes to convince me that i'm gonna make a mistake while driving you know and then i'm gonna get a mail in the card in the in the mail a card in the mail saying that i pass a red light without knowing or i was going too fast or something like that but i'm super careful like to the point where it freaks me out you know so if it says like limit of 40 i literally check my speed limit like my speed like my little tracker of the speed in the car like multiple times making sure that I'm below below 40 but then my brain starts to convince me that maybe mine is damaged and maybe I will be beyond 40 and then I'll get a card in the mail saying that I was going more than the speed limit and it's just overwhelming I just don't like driving at all I hate it so much and then I'm, I get scared or I get scared my, maybe did I just pass a stop was that a stop was that a red sign and then I started like overthinking and freaking out about it um so it's been weird it's been very weird also I hate that I got like Instagram decided to make one of my videos like viral the one that I'm cooking for my dad and I just thought about sharing that video but now I regret it because I've been getting so many followers that are like not girls like me, you know? It's just creepy guys sometimes. And they send me like DMs and stuff. 
and I don't feel comfortable and I don't even want to post anymore on Instagram because I, I get anxious about that as well. And yesterday, I went to the store to buy something and there was a guy looking at me, like an old guy. And he kept staring at me while I was at the cashier. And I look at him and I literally did like, what you looking at? Like, why are you keep staring at me? Like, I just get so freaked out. <sighs> Today has been rough for me. Like, ever since I woke up. I don't know what's happening. I just want to cry. I just want to be in a little bowl and cry. That's how I feel like. And I hate it because how am I supposed to, like, meet new people and stuff when I get kind of a scare of going out. The comments on that video are wild. I guess it didn't hit the right audience. I guess it didn't. Hi guys, it's 5.55 I think it is. I took my time, I think my dad is home. Hola pa. Hola amor, ¿cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? Bien, gracias. Oh, estoy grabando. Sí, ya sé. Uh, we're going to go grocery shopping with my mom right now, but before leaving, because the freaking light is about to get down, you know, the sun is about to go down, so of course I'm not going to be able to record with natural lighting, but I wanted to give you the full review of the book because I just finished. I spent the entire afternoon reading the book. Uh, the anxiety for Instagram is still very high. So I decided, I don't know if I told you, but I deleted the video from Instagram because I just couldn't take it anymore. Anyways, the book, I gave it four out of five stars. I really, really liked it. Really, really liked it. There are so many quotes and so many things that I learned in this book. And it was just incredible, just as I told you. So this is a good recommendation for you. If you're looking for more black representation in books this is your book highly recommend loved it four out of five stars and that's gonna be all for this video for this blog this weekly blog i don't really know how i'm going to organize this videos because i am all over the place right now but <sighs> trying just to breathe and take it one day at a time i love you so 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 much and thank you for watching let me know if you have any other video idea i would love to hear it